We all work very hard for our money. So why would we wanna give it away completely for free? Well, if you're putting yourself at risk to IRS tax penalties in 2021, then you're doing exactly that. And I've personally been surprised at the amount of people who have no idea how tax penalties and interest actually works. I mean, I personally know people and people are suggesting on YouTube that you should delay filing your taxes so you can get a $600 stimulus check, which is crazy because the amount of money that you could end up losing in tax penalties and interest alone can be way more than a $600 stimulus check. Plus, they may have to pay taxes on the stimulus check. So anyway, it's clear to me that people need to know more about tax penalties in 2021, especially if you're a small business owner and you need capital to survive. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five major things that you need to know about tax penalties. I'm gonna talk about the common reasons why people get tax penalties, when they apply to you, and how you can avoid them all together. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Sean with Life Accounting, the accounting firm that saves people from high taxes and low profits. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the first thing you need to know, which is how people get tax penalties in the first place. So usually there are three common scenarios in which you earn tax penalties. First, failing to file your tax return on time. Okay, that can result in you facing a major tax penalty. So what does that look like? What well, a deadline for filing your federal income tax return and paying any taxes that you owe is April 15th or usually the next business day if April 15th falls on a weekend. If you do not file your tax return or get approved for an extension by that date, the IRS can assess what is called a failure to file penalty which starts at an amazing amount of 5% for all of your unpaid taxes, and that is per month. Okay, so let's do some math. Let's say, for example, that someone owes $2,000 to the IRS. So the IRS could charge you 5% of that amount every month, which means you would be paying $100 a month as a tax penalty. Now the silver lining in this is that the IRS penalty won't exceed 25% of your unpaid taxes. So on the $2,000 that you owe, your failure to pay tax penalty will be $500 and that's just if you're late. On top of that, if you foul, but it's more than 60 days after the due date, which again is gonna be either April 15th or October 15th if you filed an extension, then there's a minimum late fouling penalty. Last year, that penalty was $210 or an amount equal to 100% of the taxes you owe, which everyone is less. So following our example from earlier, if someone owes $2,000, then that could turn into $710 in tax penalties just for fouling late. Okay, and again, we all work hard for our money and it doesn't make sense to give it away or in some cases, delay filing for a stimulus check. So if you know anyone who's delaying filing their taxes to get a stimulus check, please share this video with them, all right? The second way you can get penalized is a failure to pay on time. Now I know this is very similar to the first penalty, so let me make a quick distinction. There's a penalty if you fail to file your taxes on time, and then there's another penalty if you fail to pay your taxes on time. So even if you file your taxes before April 15th, if you're late paying your taxes, then you still face tax penalties. The tax penalty for this is 0.5% of unpaid taxes per month or per the month that go unpaid until the total tax penalty reaches 25%. Now, please be aware, sound alarm. This is a red alert, red alert, red alert. Okay, this penalty applies even if you get approved for an extension to file your tax return. So many people, even our first time clients, think just because they file an extension that they are exempt from tax penalties, but no, 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 no. The IRS is still gonna charge you 0.5% until you pay off your taxes, which can basically be up to 6% a year. Now, I personally have some investments in real estate and accredited funds, and I'm happy to earn 6%, especially with passive investments. So those penalties are a pretty big deal in my opinion. 
But one big relief is that if you get hit with a failure to file penalty and you get hit with a failure to pay penalty, the IRS cuts you some slack. For any month where you get hit with both penalties, you will not be charged the failure to pay penalty amount, which is great. All right, the last big reason why you may have a tax penalty is called a failure to pay proper estimated taxes. Now this one is especially important if you own a business or you're self-employed because you don't get taxes taken out of your check each month. Instead, it's up to you to make estimated tax payments each quarter on your own with the IRS. And if you fail to make your estimated tax payments or you don't submit an accurate amount for those tax payments, you're going to be hit with a tax penalty. This applies if you expect to owe at least $1,000 in taxes after you subtract any withholdings that you made. Now I've made a separate video all about estimated tax payments, which I'll link up above or somewhere in this playlist so you can understand estimated tax payments step by step. All right, so those are the three most common reasons for tax penalties. Now the second thing that you should know about is that you probably probably you won't get penalized if you're getting a refund. So for anyone who may be worrying right now and wondering if they owe the IRS money, if you're getting a refund, then you are in the clear. Let me explain, okay? So our taxes help pay for government funding, which the government helps provide a lot of benefits for us as citizens of the United States. For example, they provide our military and our country's infrastructure to name a couple of things. So when you owe money or taxes to the IRS and you're late filing, then the government theoretically would have less funding and you're getting penalized for that. However, if you're getting a refund and you are not filing taxes, theoretically that shouldn't hurt the government funding at all. That being said, don't take this as encouragement for filing your taxes late. It's still in your best interest to file your tax return on time to 100% avoid any tax penalties. All right, the third thing you need to know about IRS tax penalties is that you may also owe interest. If you owe taxes and you find that you can't pay it all back in one lump sum, then the IRS offers installment agreements that allow you to pay your bill over time. But if you do get these installments for a monthly payment plan, it will include interest in addition to a reduced failure to pay penalty. The interest rate that the IRS gives changes about every three months, but in general, it can be anywhere between 0.5% to 5%. Now, some people wonder why this happens, and I think about it like this. Okay, when you owe taxes, it's because you didn't pay your fair amount of taxes to the IRS which means that you're basically borrowing money from the IRS. So if you can't pay the IRS back on time, then they basically are converting your taxes that you owe into a loan with interest. So if you're like me and you're not crazy about having a whole lot of loans or a whole lot of debt, then that's another reason why you should consider paying it off as soon as possible and avoiding these tax penalties to begin with. The fourth big thing that you need to know about tax penalties is that if you wait too long, you could face other huge consequences. If you owe the IRS and you decide to straight up not pay your taxes, then some of the penalties that we talked about so far will be the least of your concerns. See, when the IRS sends you several letters telling you about your taxes that you owe, the tax penalties, and your tax interest, and for whatever reason you decide to completely ignore them, then the IRS could determine that you are trying to evade taxes or even committing tax fraud, which could put you on the hook for legal fines and even jail time. Taxes? Yeah, I don't have to pay them. Oh no, I'm locked up. Please let me out. All right, so let's definitely avoid that one. The last thing you need to know around tax penalties is that you can request a penalty waiver. In other words, you can completely avoid paying penalties. Now there are three ways you can do this, which depends on your situation and whether or not you've paid penalties in the past. Okay, number one, you can ask for a first time penalty abatement. 
If you haven't had any penalties in the last three years, or you just never filed your taxes in the United States before, then you can request a first time penalty waiver. All right, to qualify, you must have filed your current tax return on time or filed an extension and then made arrangements to pay what you owe. And here's a pro tip that we give our clients, okay? It's better to wait to request abatement until you've paid the full amount since penalties and interest can occur on any open balance. Okay, the second way to remove penalties is to have a reasonable cause. If you have a legit reason for not being able to file your taxes on time, then you can request relief. Here are some things that the IRS considers to be reasonable if you want to get this relief. Number one, you were involved in a fire, a casualty, a natural disaster, or some similar hazard event, kind of like what's happening in Texas right now. Two, you have an inability to obtain your relevant tax records. Or three, you face death, a serious illness, incapacitation, or an unavoidable absence of tax payments due to an immediate family member. All right, these are just some examples, but the IRS will consider other reasons if you can show them that you tried to meet your tax obligations in good faith. Okay, so I have to say this because a lot of people ask, but note that you not having the money to pay your tax bill is not, I repeat, is not a legit reason for not filing your taxes or paying your taxes on time. Also keep in mind that you will likely have to show some evidence. So you may need to show a hospital bill, a court record, or an insurance claim, just as an example. Now the last way to get tax penalties waived is if you believe you were misled by the advice directly from the IRS. Okay, so if you can show that the IRS gave you incorrect advice in writing, then you can request a waiver which rarely happens, but it does happen in some cases, especially right now with so many changes and bills being placed in law. All right, so in conclusion, the bottom line is this, avoiding tax penalties are much easier if you are owed a refund. But even if you owe taxes, you still don't have to worry about penalties as long as you file on time and pay on time and pay the right amount. Keep in mind that if you do need more time, you can still request an extension for up to six months, which can help you reduce, but not avoid, your tax penalties. And if you truly were just not aware, and this is a rare occurrence that has happened to you in the last three years, then you can request that your tax penalties are waived. Okay, so hopefully you understand now how tax penalties work and you can do your best to avoid them so you can keep all your hard earned money for yourself. And before I close out this video, I just wanna say we're so grateful for all of our new subscribers. Thank you so, so much for your support and your comments. It really gives us the motivation to continue going. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please don't forget to like it for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new business tax and finance videos that we release every week. Lastly, if you have a business, then we're in the middle of tax season right now and helping our clients navigate through this very challenging tax system. So if you're looking for a good company or a person to work on your business taxes or bookkeeping, please don't hesitate to reach out at lifeaccounting.com. All right, well, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Sean, and I'll see you in my next video.